A very good morning to all my dear students. Welcome you all for our new session 2021 and 22. And I like to congratulate you all. You are passed and promoted to 7th standard. Myself, Mrs. Tiwari, your history teacher. Dear student, this is our history textbook. New trends in history and civics. K.S. Randhawa, Evergreen Publication. Now we'll talk about the syllabus. Syllabus of first term. So here is the contents. Section A, Variable World. In that, we'll learn about medieval Europe rise and spread of Christianity, rise and spread of Islam. Third chapter is the Delhi Sultanate, part 1. Fourth chapter is the Delhi Sultanate, part 2. The Vijayanagar and Bahmani Kingdom, the Mughal Empire, part 1, and the Mughal Empire, part 2. Making of composite culture. This is the section A of history. And this one is section B. Civics. The constitution of India and directive principles of state policy. In the first term, we learn about these four chapters. And one chapter from civics got it dear student our first chapter of history medieval europe rise and spread of christianity before we start this chapter we'll understand the concept of periodic time. For the convenience of the study of history, dear students, you are aware about the fact of time period of history. History is divided into three periods ancient, medieval, and modern period. In fifth standard, we already learned. We already studied about ancient period. Remember? Now, in 7th standard, we learn about the Mediva period. Mediva. What is mean by Mediva? Mediva is the Latin word. It is derived from the Latin word Mediva. It means middle. What? Middle. That's why medieval period is also called as middle age. Got it? This is divided into three periods. That is ancient, medieval, medieval or middle age and modern age. In 7th standard, we studied about the middle ages. Medieval period is started in Europe from 580 to 1580 and in India it started from 8th century to 17th century. Dear student, in this chapter medieval Europe rise and spread of Christianity. We learn about birth of Christianity, birth and life of Jesus, crucifixion of Jesus, the Bible and the main teachings of Jesus, the decline of the ancient Roman Empire and the monasteries and their impact. All these points, we will take all these points information one by one. In medieval Europe, rural life was governed by a system. That system was known as feudalism. Student, what is meant by feudalism? Feudalism, a system under which nobles held land 
in exchange for services in a feudal society the king granted large piece of land that land called as fiefs to noblemen and bishops in return of military service landless peasants known as serf did most of the work on the fiefs fiefs just now i told you the large piece of land got it they planted and harvested crops and gave most of the produce to the landowner in exchange for their labor they were allowed to live on the land they were also promised protection in case of enemy invasion peasant jo bhi kaam karte the usme bahut sara hissa wo apne land owner ko dete the aur iske badle mein land owner unhe promise karte the unko protect karne ka aur wo unhe permission dete the allow karte the us land par rehne ke liye During the 11th century however feudal life began to change agricultural innovations such as the heavy plug and three field crop rotation innovation kya hota hai nayi nayi cheeze jo innovate hoti hai jaise heavy plug three field crop rotation so made farming more efficient and productive so fewer farm workers were needed but thanks to the expanded and improved food supply and population grew as a result more and more people meanwhile the crusades had expanded trade routes to the east and given europeans a taste for imported goods such as the wine olive oil and luxurious textiles as the commercial economy developed port cities in particular thrived by 1300 there were some 15 cities in europe with a population of more than 50000 now our second point birth of christianity 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 was born about 2000 years ago in Judea present day Israel with Jesus Christ and his faithful group of disciples disciples kaun hote hain disciples hote hain followers his followers are known as Christians Christianity is a monotheistic religion monotheistic religion kya hota hai wo log जो एक ही गॉड में बिलीव करते हैं बिलीव इन वन गॉड सेंटर्ड ऑन द लाइफ एंड द टीचिंग ऑफ जीजस क्रिस्ट द हेब्रूज हैड बीन द फर्स्ट पीपल टू प्रैक्टिस मोनोथियजम एंड एस्टैब्लिश्ड अ रिलीजन कॉल्ड जुडिज्म गॉट इट बोथ क्रिश्चियनिटी एंड इस्लाम हैव देयर रूट्स इन जुडिज्म क्रिश्चियनिटी और इस्लाम दोनों के भी रूट्स जूडिज्म से जुड़े हैं ओरिजिनेटिंग इन द ईस्टर्न मेडिटेरियन रीजन क्रिश्चियनिटी ग्रीव इन साइज एंड इन्फ्लुएंस्ड ओवर अ फ्यू डीकेट्स एंड बाय द फोर्थ सेंचुरी इट बिकेम द डोमिनेंट रिलीजन विद इन द रोमन एम्पायर पूरे रोमन एम्पायर में बहुत सारे लोगों ने क्रिश्चन रिलीजन को अपनाया see this beautiful picture jesus with mother mary or the holy family photo mother birth and life of jesus jesus a jew was born in about the 4th century at bethlehem in judea his birthday we celebrate as a christmas on 25th of december and we having holiday also ha huh? He grew up in Nazareth in Galilee. His mother Mary and father Joseph, although poor, were descended from Israel's most famous king David. In his early 30s, along with his selected disciples, 
Jesus traveled from village to village to preaching, teaching and healing the sick. Jesus lived a very simple life. He spoke and preached to people through parables. Parables means what? Parables a simple story used to illustrate a spiritual lesson.